Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another meal prep slash batch cooking video. So this video does not have any brand new recipes to me. It does have some brand new recipes that I'm bringing to you guys. And I will have all of the information that you need for these recipes in the description box below. This is another great, delicious meal prep. Definitely stay tuned. It's easy, it's quick, you're gonna love it. Your whole family's gonna love these recipes. I hope you get inspiration out of this and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start this meal prep off with some boiled eggs. I haven't made them in quite some time, but you just layer out your eggs, put in one cup of water. I'm doing it in my Instant Pot. Make sure it's on sealing, and then I just pressed the egg button. I only did about nine eggs, so I went ahead and reduced the time to three minutes instead of four. And then I always put my eggs in an ice bath for five minutes after it is finished, so that way they peel like a dream. And then I just put them in individual bags. Like I said, I actually made nine. One of them was actually gone before I even got to put them away. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to be making these Members Mark Mozzarella Chicken Meatballs. These are delicious. My mom actually found these at Sam's Club for me, so she picked them up. We're going to be throwing some Rayos over them, but the macros on these are great, and the ingredients are great. There is only, I believe it was like two or like one net carb or something like that, and the ingredients are pretty darn clean, so I was so excited. I was like, oh my goodness, mom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I actually went ahead and became a Sam's Club member too, so I'm excited to start shopping there, but I went ahead and threw an entire pack. So that comes with two packs of 20. So that's 40 meatballs. That's what they look like. I threw all 40 in there because like I said, I do have a large family. And um, all I did is I dumped, that was probably around a half of a large jar of Rayos. I get those Rayos jars at Costco. I just let that cook and get nice and hot. And oh boy, I'm telling you, you guys, those are the best meatballs. And it's super great if you're in a hurry. Then next up, I'm going to be making some pork chops and super easy peasy. I actually wanted to put ranch over the pork chops instead of garlic seasoning, but that's okay. Um, those are pork chops that I actually get at Costco. That is a 10 pack and I'm just going to make them in my roaster oven. So that way they all fit in there. I just kind of laid them all out. And then um, they actually fit pretty nicely because that is a, a pretty large roaster oven. And I put one tablespoon of butter over every single pork chop. And then also I went ahead and added some garlic, some minced garlic. And then, like I said, I did go ahead and put the garlic seasoning over this. I really wanted to put like ranch packets or make my own ranch, but I did not have the things that I needed to be able to do that. I think the ranch, this was really good. Don't get me wrong, This these were still amazing. They came out nice and moist and juicy and they were still really good as garlic. I did put a little bit of pepper on there as well. But I really wanted to make them into like buttery ranch pork chops. I just think that that would have been so, so good. But I just left them on 250 degrees and I cooked those for probably like six hours, maybe a little bit longer than that, probably like seven hours. And that is how they turned out. They, I promise you, were so good, so moist. Everybody really enjoyed them. But next time I am going to use the ranch. Highly recommend ranch. I love ranch though. <laughs> so um, as you can see, they still like browned and everything. So, so good and easy. Next up, we're going to be making some cauliflower mash. Again, this is super simple as well. Those are the ingredients that you are going to need. I like to cut up my cauliflower and I soak them in vinegar water. I use about a fourth a cup of vinegar to a full bowl of water and I let them set for about 10 minutes and then I rinse them well. I put mine in a steamer basket and then I just let them steam until they're nice and um, soft. I don't let them get mushy because I don't like that mushy taste but I just get them soft and then I go ahead and put them in my food processor and then I add two ounces of cream cheese, two tablespoons of butter, I do add some salt and then I do add a little bit of pepper. You can change up the seasonings. You can add extra herbs. You could even add cheese, garlic, make them garlicky cheesy. I just kept it simple. But then I um, just pulsed that in my food processor until it was the consistency of mashed potatoes. 
that's what it looks like. I'm telling you, you guys, your family isn't really going to notice the difference between this and mashed potatoes. In my opinion, I can't even tell a the difference. They're delicious. Next up, we are making barbecue meatloaf. Y'all, this is so good. Those are the ingredients that I used. Your family is going to love this. So I used one pound of that ground turkey sausage. That's breakfast sausage. You can use whatever sausage you want, though. And then two packages of regular ground beef. That's a half a cup of almond flour I put in there. I did add a little bit of garlic around a tablespoon. A good amount of salt because that's the thing with meatloaf. You want to add your seasonings and you want to be generous. And then I did add pepper as well. And like I said, just be generous with the seasonings. That's three pounds of meat. So I also added garlic powder. And then last but not least, I did add onion flakes. You could always add real onions. My family prefers not to have real onions in there. Two eggs. And then we're also going to go in with an entire cup of barbecue sauce. Use whatever kind you want. You could even make your own if you wanted to. But then I just go in with my handy dandy hands and make sure that is all mixed up super nicely. And this is what I'm going to do a little bit differently just because I think it is easier to just get out like a nine by 11 pan, dump the meatloaf in there instead of making your standard normal loaf style meatloaf. Plus I think this cooks a lot quicker as well. So that's three pounds of meat. I just put it in a nine by 11 pan. I did spray the pan pretty generously. And for the first part of putting this in the oven, I do go ahead and cover mine with foil because I don't want the top of it to dry out. But I bake this at 350 degrees for around 30 minutes. That's what it looks like when it comes out. It does have a lot of fat at the bottom. So I get some of that fat out. Um, that's up to you. You could leave it. I prefer to get probably three fourths of that out of there. And then I am going to just baste the top of the meatloaf with some more sugar-free barbecue sauce. And then I put it back in the oven for around another 15 minutes. And then that is what it looks like when it comes out. This meatloaf serves 10 pretty good size portions. Very filling. This recipe right here is so delicious. Even your kids are going to love it. Last but not least, we are going to be making chocolate covered almonds. I'm using those almonds right there and I'm going to do part of them with this white chocolate and then part of them with the dark chocolate. I'm keeping it simple y'all. I'm not adding anything to this chocolate. I melted it in the microwave for about 30 minutes and then stirred it, put it back in for about five minutes. That's it. I didn't add any coconut oil or anything. I just mixed in all of those almonds and um, made sure that they were nice and stirred in. And then I literally just took spoonfuls and put them on parchment paper. And then after they were done, after I made all of them, I did put them in the freezer. Oh, and I did add a little bit of sea salt to the very top of them. I'm telling you, this is about the easiest dessert you're ever going to find. And you don't have to have almonds. You could do it with any kind of nut. You could do it with basically whatever you want. You could do it with peanuts, with almonds, with whatever you want. But I also did it with the semi-sweet chocolate. Again, added a little bit of sea salt. And everybody absolutely loved this dessert. So ridiculously simple, but yet so delicious. Can you get any better than that? Again, what an amazing combination. So I hope you guys are gonna give these a try because everybody in your family is gonna love these as well. The only thing I recommend is keep them in the freezer or the refrigerator so they say stay nice and solid. So that is going to conclude this week's meal prep. I hope you guys enjoyed these recipes and I hope you give them a try because they are super simple yet super delicious. Can you get any better than that? What a combo. So if you guys try any of these or if you guys meal prep this week, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the link down below. Tag me. Let me know what you're making. Let me know if you enjoyed these recipes. And like always, I hope you guys found some motivation and inspiration to meal prep for yourself and your family. Like always, I'm praying for you, your family, and your country. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. And don't forget to go out there and make today even better than yesterday. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. But I don't know why You hit the road But you
But you don't realize I'm on the back when you're wrong I won't think twice when you're wrong